Now in this video, we are going to talk about the shell substitution. Now what is shell substitution? Now we can run some of the shell commands into our program or into our any of the back console or we can say into our prompt of your any terminal and we can substitute any particular command of shell into our echo command so that we can get the output into it or we can substitute this particular command's output to a particular program as well. So basically we can say this shell substitution is nothing but we are going to substitute the shell commands into a particular program. So you can see the command substitution means nothing more but to run a shell commands and store its output into a particular variable or into an echo command so that we can get the output. The second we have the syntax, how we will be using this particular commands or how we will be using the substitution of your commands into the shell. So just we need to define the command name or we can define the dollar sign along with the command name so that we can substitute into a particular variable. So this is what the command substitution is. Now let's see how we can use this command substitution into our Linux terminal. Now again we have you know most of the commands which we can substitute into the shell itself. So let us check this is the date. I can even substitute the date as a variable into the shell. Same way we can also use the command who am I or we can use who who has logged in into different terminals. So this or any commands any whatever they generally the, you know the terminal commands we use we can add into the shell as well. So let us check how we can substitute a command into a shell. So substitution is the name I'm going to define for this file and I'm going to substitute a command. Now for example I'll go and add um, dt that is a variable I'm going to add and I'm going to add date into it. Echo date is I'll add the variable dt. Let us check as such substitution so you can see now we are able to see the date correct so I can also add more of the commands into it current date is dt okay and uh, always remember that here again I'm not going to use that uh, a uh, single quote in spite of using the as and great grave uh, that symbol so as and grave is again below your tilt symbol so uh, the next way the user or uh, we can say the command which I can substitute into this shell can be any command like I want to check users who has logged in okay so um, I can give users and then I can give the command again into the same as and grave symbol and I'm going to give who once you have done with the who, again I can give come on list of login users on terminals, right? So we can add this one. We can also give um, your time commands, you know, uptime commands of your system. So we can say we okay, I'm going to define the command called as up that is uptime. Or you can also give ut any variable because uptime is a by default command so I'm not going to use uptime so we can define the date into it and along with the date we also should know at what time we have logged in so what I'll be doing is I'll define date again I'll define the today's uptime done with that again echo so the login date and time was and I'm going to define the ut variable done with that save it as such and I'm going to check for the substitution.xs so you can see current date is this list of login users okay so in the terminal I have uh, not defined the command into it sorry and then the date and when we have logged in so it is showing you the average time the number of users and the when we have loaded with it so just I need to modify it so that we can also get the list of users so for that 
I haven't defined the list of user in the terminal so I'll just uh, raise my variable here so for that I'll just define dollar users done with it again we'll run as such substitutions and you can check it is also showing you the number of users has logged in into different terminal and the logon date and time and your current date and time right so this is what exactly we have seen how we can substitute commands into a particular variables even we can create a simple uh, sample uh, we can say a variable list or we can say sample batch file kind of okay and I can list the number of commands if I do not want it to be added into the commands so I can put a sequence of you know um, commands here like ls who who am I correct so I can save this and once I run this file you can see all this particular commands will get run automatically even though if you have it we haven't added into the variable so we can also use the commands into the shell scripting files so that whenever you run this particular script all the commands should get run so this is what we have talked about how we can substitute a particular command into the shells into later videos i'm going to explore more about your voting mechanism so for that watch the next video